joining us. So we've had time now not just to digest the decision, but also that press conference from Wednesday. So what's the feeling in Columbus right now? It's an interesting because, uh, you know, now everybody knows Urban Meyer's not going to be the head coach for at least the first three games of the season. He's not going to be back on the – he's not going to be allowed to coach until September the 3rd. So uh, the, the sense is this is Ryan Day's team, his acting head coach, you know, headed headed into the opener. Uh, and then also the fact that they, everybody knows this is a very talented, uh, deep, probably the deepest uh, team that Urban Meyer has had at Ohio State starting in the starting way back in 2012. So, you know, it's it's, it's just been a strange uh, preseason all along. Uh, there's been all this stuff going on, and also there's been a football camp, but we haven't been able to watch well, all but just a snippet or two of the football camp. So that's why the focus was more on what was going on off the field. On the football side of things, you know, Monday we're expecting our first press conference of the season where normally we would be hearing from Urban Meyer. So any sense of what we can expect with Ryan Day, who we haven't heard publicly yet at Ohio State? Bottom line is, uh, the way I understand it, uh, it's been business as usual as far as the preseason camp went and the way Ryan Day ran it. Obviously, he's a first-time head coach. But he's 39 years old, and uh, you know his previous two jobs were as the quarterbacks coach for the Philadelphia Eagles and then the San Francisco 49ers, both times under Chip Kelly. But uh, I understand he's he's run things extremely well, stuck to the plan pretty much as Urban Myers laid it out. Obviously, you know preseason camps are laid out sometimes months in advance. And I think he's benefited definitely from the expertise of Kevin Wilson, a former head coach, and Greg Schiano, a former head coach, uh, the offensive and defensive coordinators, respectively. But uh, as far as anything different, you know, it's you, you, you kind of wait to, to see maybe that first challenge uh, from the standpoint of a, you know, fourth and one, do you go for it, or uh, uh, a third and one, do you air it out, things like that. I mean, I, I think we're all interested in seeing how – the game will be called with Ryan Day in charge. All right. Thank you so much, Tim. We appreciate the time. Sure, anytime.